Welcome viewers, today on TV Box Tub, I have a new projector from Artly and this new model offers some really cool features such as Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth 5.0 technology that can be used to cast your Android and iOS devices as well as connect to Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers to give you a true cinematic sound. It also has one of the clearest and sharpest displays I've seen from a 1080p mini projector. Presenting the Artly Enjoy 3 1080p Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector. In this video, we take a look at its design, its connecting ports and its interface. Then I'll set it on a projector screen and play some high quality videos to test its focus and picture quality. Then I'll connect it to my mobile phone to test its casting ability. And I'll also connect it to my 7.1 audio receiver to test its Bluetooth feature for that wireless cinematic sound. So don't go anywhere, you have that and more right after this. Welcome back. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. You have the projector itself. You get one IR remote control. You get one HDMI cable. Your AC power cable. A 3.5 mm headphone jack to a female RCA composite cable. A warranty card and a multi-language user manual. And now a look at its design, button placement and ports. The body of the projector has a simple and easy to use design that I like very much and it doesn't take away from its innovative features. At the front, you have a fabric covering with the Artly branding and the lens with a lens cover. If you pass your hand on the fabric, you can feel that they have placed the front IR sensor behind the fabric. However, after testing this, it doesn't affect the IR remote in any way. All of the IO ports are located at the rear of the projector that include one HDMI input port, two USB 2.0 ports, one of which is designed to facilitate mobile casting via USB cable. You have one headphone jack, one AV port, a rear IR sensor, your vertical keystone correction wheel, the AC power input jack, and you have a rear intake cooling vents. On the left side, you have your focus wheel, and this wheel is not your regular clickety clackety wheel that can never seem to give you the right focus. It's the modern pressure sensitive focus wheel for precision focus tuning. On the right side, you have your exhaust cooling vent. At the top, you have a multifunction power button that also acts as a direction pad and a volume control with continuous scrolling. You also have up and down buttons, a return button, and an OK button for manual control. And below the projector, you have four anti-skid rubber feet, a screw type kickstand, and a screw hole for mounting to a projector stand or ceiling mount. There is also a holder for the intake vent dust cover that you can access by simply pressing to snap it in and out of place. So I'll now set it on a projector stand and projector screen and let's have a look at its interface. So for this video, I'll be using a projector stand with my pull down projector screen and I'll place it 7 feet away from the screen due to my limited space but you can place it as far as 12 to 15 feet away and still get a solid picture. So this is its user interface and they have made it easy to navigate with only three sections. First, you have the multimedia section that deals with reading media directly from your flash drive or external hard drive connected to one of its USB ports. I've tested my list of videos including 1080p and 4K samples, and it can only play 1080p videos, and the only digital audio formats I got to work was Dolby Atmos and basic DTS audio. It cannot read 4K videos and downscale them to 1080p, but this is for only media connected directly to it. You can still connect a mobile device or TV box and play your 4K samples and pass through to the projector via HDMI. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels. 
to moving around you with 10 point accuracy. The next section is your input source options. Here you can select to read from the HDMI port, the AV port using the included composite cable, or you can use the wired or wireless casting feature for Windows, Android, and iOS devices. I will test this feature in a moment. The third and final section is the settings area where you have options to change the projection mode, image scaling or zoom options, its aspect ratio, its picture color settings, You can change the language. You have your software update options. You have your factory default settings. You have auto sleep options. You have your Wi-Fi settings. And it's Bluetooth settings. So for my first demonstration, I will connect an Android cell phone via Miracast. Please keep in mind that this projector has Bluetooth 5.0. So older models of smartphones may not detect its Bluetooth signal to pair with it. And now I will connect an Android TV box and play my list of 4K videos, which will be downscaled to 1080p.
because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loff prizing presence on the bench as well. Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, their traditional red and blue Barca. Alves in a bit of space, Adriano, Adriano. For even higher resolution, I have an Amlogic S905X4 TV box connected and these are some videos in AV1 format.
So that is its picture quality and as you can see it's very good, one of the clearest and sharpest I've seen from a projector of this caliber. If during the demonstration you found that the fan noise was a bit loud, that is because in order to record this footage I had to place the camera right next to the projector which also captured the fan noise. However, with that said, you will be surprised at how low the fan noise is once you are a couple of feet away. To test its Bluetooth connectivity, I don't have all of the devices on hand that can connect to it such as Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones and song bars. What I do have is my 7.1 Android receiver that has Bluetooth connectivity and what better device to connect to for that true cinematic sound. So viewers, there you have it. In summary, all of the features work as they should. You can play media directly via USB or external storage, however, you are limited to 1080p and there is no downscaling. You can however connect an external device such as an Android TV box, mobile phone or tablet and play your 4K videos through those devices and it will pass through to the projector. The projector does recognize a certain digital audio formats such as Atmos and standard DTS. However, it cannot pass through digital audio to external devices such as receivers. Its picture quality, as I said, is one of the best I've seen in this category and I really like the focus wheel adjustment that allows you to get the right amount of focus and clarity you need. For information concerning specs such as lumens and contrast ratio, see the information in the description area below. And with that said, if you are interested in the Artly Enjoy Tree, you can get it from none other than Artly themselves on their Amazon store. See the link in the description below this video where you can get up to $50 off with the included coupon. See the link in the description to take advantage before the coupon expires. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you really like this projector. Special thanks goes out to Artly for sending this wonderful projector for today's review. If you would like to support this channel directly to ensure that I receive new items for review, simply use the link in the description if you intend to purchase and I will be credited for it. And another way you can support this channel is by clicking on the subscribe button and the notifications bell which will help with the channel's ratings and it will also give you a notification when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.